Okay, so this is Lineage OS uh, running on Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig. Uh, it works well on the 4 gig as well. Uh, if you want to install it, go to Consta Kang uh, and you can click on this one, Raspberry Pi 4. Click on that. Then we click on the Lineage OS 17.1 and scroll down and you'll see very soon there is uh, a, click, a link here to download the image. Just download the image and uh, unzip it uh, on a Windows computer, a Mac or a Raspberry Pi. Uh, and then you need to write it with either Raspberry Pi Imager or Belena Etcher to an SD card. It doesn't work with USB boot at the moment, but I'm sure that Consta Kang is working on it. Uh, but this has got loads of support. It is, it is absolutely great to use. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't come with the Google Play Store. So once you've got it installed, you'll see that it will look similar to this, but it won't be as populated and you won't have the Google Play Store. So I'm going to go through the instructions on how you set up the Google Play Store because it's actually different to the previous versions of Android. Uh, so this is a step by step way of doing it. OK, so getting to this point is pretty standard with the setup, just putting your Wi-Fi in and accepting the various different licenses and things. So we need to go to the web browser and we need to download two files. So type in Consta Kang and click on ConstaKang.com. Go to Devices and Raspberry Pi 4 and click on the Lineage 17.1, which is the latest version. Scroll down and you'll find a download for recovery to boot. Click on that. Start here to download. And you can see primary download, click on that and allow and download. You can see it's downloading top left. There's an arrow just come up. Let's go back to Consta Kang's page and click on the G apps download. Scroll down and click on that. Sometimes you find it comes up with an error. Don't worry about that, just try again. So accept the privacy licenses and direct link. Hit download. So now we've got two files downloading. So if you drag down from the top left corner, you get this. You can see Recovery to Boot's already downloaded, um, but the download G apps isn't downloaded yet. So wait for that to finish. Okay, so that's just finished now. So we'll go to Home. And you need to slide up from the bottom, left click and slide up, click on Files. And you need to drag these into where it says Raspberry Pi 4. So that's one and the second one. So you can see they're in the root of the Raspberry Pi. So slide up again. Go to settings. And there's a few settings you need to change here. Go all the way down to the bottom. Click on About Tablet. Start clicking on Build Number until it gives you Developer Settings. Pop your pin in. And go back. Go to System. Advanced. Developer Options. Toggle on root access and hit OK. Toggle on Android debugging and hit OK. Rooted debugging. And local terminal.
Now click on Home. Drag up from the bottom. Click on Terminal and Allow. Type in SU, Enter. Then RPI4 dash recovery dot SH. And then Reboot. So now we're in recovery. Swipe to allow modifications. Click install. Click on the Google Apps and swipe to confirm. Okay, so when that finishes, click on wipe Dalvik and swipe to wipe. Go back and back and back. Click on wipe. Swipe to factory reset. Go back and back and mount. Click on boot and system. Go back. Click on install, click on the recovery to boot.zip, click on reboot after installation is complete, and swipe to confirm flash. So when it all reboots and you put your details in, click on the Play Store and you'll find that you can use it like you would a normal Google device. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.